One win. Creative. One ring. You know, one in five teens has or will have a mental illness, according to the National Alliance on Mental Illness. That is just one of the alarming statistics uh, when it comes to students' mental health. Well, students in Hartford County are now working to change those numbers. WMAR 2 News' Aaron McPherson met with those students and shows you why they are working for the future. Oh, I see. Yeah. Students coming together to help others. This group is primarily student-led because it's the students themselves who are facing the challenges. The challenges of mental health. This is an okay topic to have a conversation about. One of the big things that everybody struggles with is making that conversation and how can we vocalize our feelings and what we're struggling with. Joshua Alterzewski started the Student Mental Health Council for middle and high school students in Harford County with the help of Christian Walker. Here we are. Their goal, to reach as many students as possible and support them. We know that there's a problem. We know that students want help, but maybe they're not actively seeking that help out. And other students have already joined the group. It's harder when you don't talk about it. It puts more of a burden on yourself. A burden that could cause students to quit on themselves, dropping out of school or committing suicide. Mental health issues should be addressed as we would our physical health needs. They are just as important. Christina Alton is the mental health specialist for Harford County Schools who oversees this group. If we are going to help with mental health stigma and reducing it, I think it's students who are going to lead us. The Student Mental Health Council just started earlier this year. Right now, they're focused on the conversation and working up to concrete events. What are those action items that we can bring into schools, into communities to really facilitate that conversation even further and even deeper? In Harford County, Aaron McPherson, WMAR 2 News.